Hello and welcome to the TED Podcast. My name is Fat Yeti. We have with us today Professor Tinker. Say hello. <laughs> we also have Mr. Fish. Say hello. Hey, everybody. And we have two SADs with us today. They are Finn and Harry. Say hello, Finn and Harry. Hello. <laughs> Harry's in the background. You may not be able to hear him. He's quiet. <laughs> um, He's not allowed to talk to people. N- no. <laughs> He's kind of <laughs> hidden away in Finn's basement for the majority of the time. <laughs> He's just holding the mic next to the ventilation grill. <laughs> <laughs> it's his voice echoing up. If, if he's good today, he'll be fed. <laughs> Harry is a good elf. <laughs> Harry is a free elf. So what, what's the first, well, what's the first topic of discussion? Yes, what should we talk about? Um, uh, we, okay. have quite, we have quite a list to talk about. We've got Titanfall. Yeah. We've got uh, Xbox One. No, PS4. PS4. Let's talk about that. Um, okay. The PS4 um, went up by 50 Canadian dollars for the people north of Mr. Fish. I thought they used, I thought they used pounds. <laughs> no, what they, they have... Canadian, I thought they they have they have used co- Canadian dollars, isn't it? Oh, yes. No, they used pounds sterling, didn't they? No. No, it's That's... Canadian dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they still used our money because no. they still no. didn't they? No. When did, have they ever used our money? I have yeah. no idea. Did... I thought they did. They still have... Oh, they don't use our money, but they still have the queen on their money. I know that. Yes. Was... Yeah, they probably still have the queen on their okay. money, but it's gone up by fifty oh. US dollars. What's... Right. Uh, no, Canadian dollars, right. not US. <laughs> Damn it, Ben. No. <laughs> Basically, yeah, PlayStation 4 is a little bit more expensive in Canada now. Yeah, that's it, really. It's still cheaper than the Xbox One, but now by only 50 Canadian dollars, not by 100. Well, when they, when the... they first came out, wasn't the uh, PlayStation 4 only cheaper than the Xbox by about 50 pounds as well? I have no idea. It wasn't that much cheaper. I think it was the Xbox One was $450, and the PS4 was $389? So they were... So they were that much more expensive to begin with, and then they said, well, you know... No, 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 PS, PS4 was cheaper than the Xbox One. Yeah, yeah no, of course. And it still then, is. Yeah, but... Did, did, did Xbox increase their price, though? No, only the PS4 no. had. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah no, but they do still have a great gimmick going on where if you trade in your PS3, you get $100 off your Xbox One. Yes, they didn't... <laughs> they I remember like, seeing that. Those pictures. First that time I saw good. that, I thought, you crafty fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Steer away from the blasphemous Sony and come to Microsoft. <laughs> Let uh, us convert they, you. Actually, they had a picture. I think didn't the picture say buy an Xbox One and save yourself a hundred dollars or something if you trade in console? No, it, and it was... I remember someone posting a picture in retaliation and said, "Buy a PS4, save a hundred dollars, save your old system." <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it was just a hundred dollars cheaper, it was like it was quite transparent what they were trying to do, but at least they offered an alternative to people, I guess. Mm. And it worked. There was lots yeah. of people that took advantage of it. Uh, I imagine. Well, taking right. advantage it'd be as just like, as possible. Right. Mm. It would be the same thing with cell phones and stuff. Like that, Apple would do the same thing. They're like turning your Android for a hundred dollars off an Apple phone, and then everyone that actually uses an Android would be like. Or we can just keep our Android and pay less for it. Yeah, I I I have an Android tablet, and I used to have an iPhone. I much prefer Android. I really do. Okay. I've never had either. I have a phone from 2006 that's a Sony Ericsson shaped like a brick. Oh no, I used to have an iPhone until it broke, and now I have a 15 pound phone from Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> well, check you out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Speaking, while we're on the but, topic of a PlayStation 4, there's also Infamous Second Son. Indeed. Mm. Which is, oh. it looks so sexual to the eyeballs. <laughs> I watched the trailer and there's just that little slow motion <laughs> down yeah, onto the ground. Close. It's just like a meteorite <laughs> exploding in everyone's face like a jizz. And it's just, ah! I have a friend who's so excited for it. He's a bit of a PS fanboy and he can't wait I think it's going to sky for a whole week of school <laughs> I really do, it really wouldn't surprise me well, good on him, I'm homeschooled so I can just like you know, shut the door 
<laughs> <More school. laughs> right. Like, mom, no, no studies. PS4. <laughs> and as soon as they come in, immediately Slide turn the off the sandwich to the door. Have the folders open on the desk and have everything there like I'm working, but have the television on working. And then as soon as the door cracks open, turn off the television, pick up the pencil, and be like, oh, hello, yeah. Now, what you should do is put the TV behind the door so when they open it, you just turn around to the desk and pretend you're working. <gasps> That's and then brilliant. Otherwise... Yeah, I could, but you see, my room's not shaped like that. Ah, oh, terrible. What, what, what shape is your room? L. Oh, I thought, I thought you were about to say it's an oblong sphere. Or it's or like something. an L shape. <laughs> it's like a really <laughs> weird shape. My room is a square, but you know, you know what a stair head is? Yes. Yeah, but does, uh, does Finn and Joshua? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, I have know a how stairs work. Popping up in taking up a quarter of my room, and when the door <laughs> opens, behind my door are two sets of boxes and a wash bin, which is where my clothes are. And then there's my bed in front of that, and behind me right now is my bed and probably maybe two feet of space. An insight into the life of. It's Professor small. Tinker, ladies and gentlemen. It's tiny. However, I love my bed because my bed can be a sofa if I want it to be because of all the cushions and shit on it. <laughs> I love it. It's That's so... what that's really about right there. It's fluffy. It's uh, fur. How, how do we get from superpowered teenager no slashing idea. adult to the bedroom? Because... because in the bedroom, Professor Tinker is a superhero. Ha ha! Oh. <laughs> it's a lie, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> right. Well, to be fair, like I mean, he's just proving how much he is one of the socially awkward gamers because most people would be like, "Oh no, I have to quickly turn my porn off," and he's like, "No, no, no, I have to hide my gaming." <laughs> well, it's like, uh, no, mom, close the door, quick! I just promise I'm studying. <laughs> I don't watch porn. Okay, can we not get into this? <laughs> because A, yeah, I'm okay. on the podcast, but B, it'll be very embarrassing for me. <laughs> Why? Why are you okay. embarrassed? Do you watch porn? Oh, no. Does watch, the f- watch, your, watch, watch it, because Lucy's probably going to hear this. Yeah. What's, Lucy's my girlfriend. She's very lovely. What's your What's your, uh, What's your your favourite pornographic genre, Yeti? <laughs> is it Is it uh, FPS? It's very- well, as a Yeti, it has to be other Yetis. Yeti porn. I can see how that would work, but it would have to be in sort of hentai, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, right, what it is, that you get like this genre. big butch Russian woman dressing up in like a Yeti So the plot costume. of Infamous <laughs> takes place about seven years after the good ending of Infamous 2. Yes. Just to quickly get away from this topic. <laughs> and I didn't know that. I didn't know it took place after... Well, I know it took place after that, but I didn't know it was specifically after the good ending. Oh yeah, because they um, they we were, were going to follow it from the bad ending. But then, uh, when everyone started to complete it, they all realized everyone chose the good ending, and then made it good ending. And then that's why Cole had to die. One thing I don't quite understand. We killed him. The the guy that you play as can't remember his name. What is his name? Cole Cole McGrath. Cole McGrath. Yep. Uh, is that the person you play as in Second Son? No. Oh, you're who... Delson. Okay. Is he a good guy? Or or is it like the the other Infamouses where you can be good or do bad? You... Yeah. I was okay. going to ask, do you, do you know the plot of Infamous? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I do. Yeah. But it's just, okay, is he naturally a good guy? I think he looks like a prick. He I just, think he I, does as well. Seen... He looks he, like the kind got... of guy that goes around and says, hmm. You just touched my car and I don't know you. I'm going to disintegrate you now. He's he's a guy you wouldn't want to give powers to because you know most people will be like, oh, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, he looks like he'd just go looting. <laughs> like all the responsibility. <laughs> I just want women and... What's the yogurt? Fra, fra, fra. <laughs> fromage fray. No, not fromage fray. It's a specific thing like frappoya or something. I don't think it's called frappoya. I like his jacket though. Yeah, he's got a cool jacket. Cool. I want, I want his jacket. I think you can buy it, but not his one, because he's not real. Or just get get a jacket and then get get a jacket, a leather jacket, and then get that three D paint where when you've ironed it on, it sort of sticks out a bit, and you could just paint whatever you want uh, on the back uh, of your jacket. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, you can get it specifically for clothing. That's brilliant. 
Mm. Should we move on to Titanfall? Yes, Titanfall. Yeah. That's a very good right. game. Titanfall so came out pretty. earlier this week, and I haven't had a chance to play it, but I played the beta and I really enjoyed it. Um, mm. There have been kind of been like everyone. The general consensus is that it's a very good game, but a lot of people have been debating whether it will be a Call of Duty killer or will it live up to I, its hype. I, I don't think... know if it will live up. I think it. I think it has the ability to live up to its hype. Mm. I don't know if it will be a Call of Duty killer, but. There are certain things about it which are just a bit sort of a letdown. For starters, I thought the campaign... Oh, I guess I just didn't know this. It's mainly a mixture of single player and multiplayer when you do the campaign. And to unlock yeah. the other titans to play with, which are the Ogre and the Strider. Is it Strider? I, okay. I think it's Strider. You get <laughs> yeah, them by completing Ogre. campaign missions. Mm. Okay. Oh, alright. Okay. So okay. There's, the ch there's a possibility that in the future... Like, say, let's take Halo Reach. I got Halo Reach about three, maybe five years? I don't remember when it was released. I'm going to say three. Three years after it was released. And loads of people were really high levels. So mm. what if with Titanfall, everyone's already got all the stuff they need out of the campaign, and you'll go into the campaign, and there won't be enough people to actually do it to unlock the Titans? Mm. There's that mm. chance. I think. Plus, they, I don't think any up. game on the PC should be limited to 60 FPS. It's locked at that. No. It's it's weird, though, because there's been quite a lot of debate around it with its scoring, because with GameSpot, they gave it a 9, with mm. Metacritic giving it an 89, which is pretty much the same thing, and IGN gave it an 8.9, so they're all kind of hovering around the 9.0 mark. But then, on like the average gamer score, like player reviews is only down to about 7.1 and mm -hmm. i mean our own writer kona a good friend of mine who's going to be writing for the site he gave it i think a 7.5 or an 8 because he enjoyed it as a game but he said there just wasn't enough to the campaign and there are so few modes in multiplayer that you get a little it gets a little monotonous even yeah. though it's got really dynamic gameplay that will never play the same twice yeah, you can. De there's isn't definitely a lot you can do. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that always how first-person shooters work, though? Yeah, like, I've never yeah. really been like, you know what? I'm really going to play Call of Duty Ghost campaign mode. That's like <laughs> why I bought this game. You know, like you don't do that. That's what Titanfall is oh. about. Titanfall was just like a way to say, hey, here's the next level. Somebody do, somebody beat this. You know, yeah. it was like when Zack Snyder made Watchmen. You know, it was like, look, this is an R-rated comic book movie. Uh, deal with it. <laughs> I do yeah, like I, I do like I can see why they did a single and multiplayer for the campaign because not a lot of people will buy a game for the campaign anymore. Like I bet you 80%, probably more of the people that bought Battlefield 4 bought it for the multiplayer. Yeah, undoubtedly. So the fact that they put single and multiplayer into the campaign is quite clever because then there's a chance more people will play it. Mm. So you're, you're going to get more out of it for that. But I think the main game when it comes to diversity and not one game being played the same twice, I've always got to go back to Battlefield Bad Company 2. <laughs> Everything was breakable. You could never play it the same twice. Same twice. It's a good comparison. <laughs> <laughs> so. Except for, you know, the whole, like, giant robots and stuff. You know. <laughs> I... Like do that makes a big difference. Do you think it's going to be enough to like really shake up the FPS market with Call of Duty and Battlefield, or do you think it's I just going to kind of that, yeah. slip into the mists of time as like I, that I one great can. game that I came? Think... I don't think. I it know, the problem is, is that time. with a lot of first-person shooters, mm. you need you need to be able to cookie cutter your first-person shooters if you want to be able to stay in this market. You need to be able to just change the backgrounds change the storyline and have the exact same game over and over again because that's what people want to play. And if they can do that with Titanfall, if they can come out with amazing campaigns over and over again that give you an excuse to jump into a giant robot and blow the hell out of everything, people will pay for it every single time. Yeah. I don't think I Titanfall think will slip into the mists of gaming history. Because I think it has a no. lot of potential. Yeah, I no, no, there's no way. It's... I think, are they going to make a Titanfall 2? I, 
I don't know. Do you think they're just going to be? Well, just release the first one. Yeah. So I don't care. Do I am going to pressure them. <laughs> do you think they're going to focus more on DLC, or do you think they're just going to focus on like creating a second one if they decide to? If they were smart. They would uh, make I a second one. Yeah. I think. I think DLC makes more money though, doesn't it? So. Yeah, that's the thing. DLC yeah. makes more money, but it's not, not as good, and uh, it doesn't really go well with the public as much. Back in my yeah. days, DLC was called unlockable content. And <laughs> add-ons were called cheat codes. Pepperidge Farm. And all oh. <laughs> Red Faction codes. Armageddon, baby, with the pony farting rainbows. <laughs> oh, man. Yesterday, I went to a thrift store, and in their magazine rack was a whole column of tips and tricks, speaking of cheat codes. And I was like, I miss Tips and Tricks magazine. Like, it was so much fun because they had all these video game articles, and in the back was literally 100 pages of nothing but cheat codes. And it's like, you don't get that anymore. If you don't have the net, you don't you don't get a cheat. No, I, I know what you mean. I, I We had, like, a similar kind of mag. I can't remember what it was called, but it was just cheat codes. And I think it was, like, one pound a month for each issue. And you'd like get a demo for a game, and it would have cheat codes in it, and a couple of small articles. But that was it. It was just cheat codes for all your games. It was brilliant. But now it's just like it is just DLC and pay to unlock and all that kind of stuff. You don't really get cheat codes as such anymore. Mm. Right. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Someone <laughs> speak. I, I oh god. I I kind of like DLC though. I mean, as much as it is just a way of making more money, it it is extra content for the games you love. Like, I I love the DLC for Fallout and Skyrim. I love that. That although you have to pay for it, I'm I'm willing to pay for that. Yeah, but the thing is, I like Skyrim's DLC case. if it's a true addition to the game. Like for Skyrim, you had um, the three DLC that came out for it. They were really good additions. I mean, just the vampire one. What was that called? Dawn Guard alone yeah. added yeah. so much playtime to the game. But when you come to things which are DLC, that's just petty. Like, here, yeah, I'll get like this so you can get things. one new game mode and two new maps. Get this. Fuck off. I yeah. Pay that. I'm not yeah. giving you that. I'm well, not giving you it, my money just for a new I... map. The thing is, with Skyrim, the DLC was good because it was a single player game. And so if you had the DLC, it would just expand your own adventure time, your own play time in that game and deep, like give an extra depth to that universe. It should have had Whereas multiplayer. in, you know what I mean? But then it's like with multiplayer games, it's like if you don't have that DLC, you may be stopped from playing with some of your friends. Mm, exactly. It kind of limits your experience of the game which you paid for in the first case anyway. Uh, it does suck when other people have got it and you ain't. It's like yeah, that's that. that maybe it's like just an even better way at marketing it. Is you know, do you want to play with your friends and buy this? <laughs> and if your friends didn't buy it, well, you know, they're lost. I'm just more scared with the DLC that the Xbox One's been doing because if Killer Instinct is any idea of what they're going to do with DLC yeah. and make you download every single character unless you just want to have two characters, like yeah. Titanfall, like, they have all these possible ideas for mechs. They could go for days on what kind of cool mechs they want to let you have. But if you're going to have to pay five bucks a mech to get every single one of these mechs, they can go die somewhere. I don't care anymore. The thing is, I think it was with Killer Instinct, they kind of took the attitude that we'll give you the mechanics of the game for free, but then you have to pay to unlock the various characters you want to play as. But you only have to pay to unlock the players, the characters you want to play as. You don't have to pay for a whole group of them or anything. But I it pissed remember. a lot of people off because then you didn't have access to all of the characters. Yeah. I remember watching the trailer for... What was the skeleton? What was he called? Uh, uh, no, not Fulgore. That's the Wolverine guy. Yeah, but that's the one uh, that I'm getting spinal. onto. Spinal, that's it. I watched the spinal trailer and I thought, this sounds, I'm having an ergo orgasm. And then all of a sudden that little Shit. tiny teaser for Full Goal came out and I cracked my volume all the way up to the top and listened to that like 20 times. And I thought, mmm, you sound so delicious. 
Like, I, I agree wholeheartedly. It makes me so sad because, like, you could literally spend days just watching all the little teasers or, like, the let's plays of like killer instinct and there's only like three characters out right now and every single one of them is gorgeous oh <sighs> no just listening to fulgore take his few steps and then the sound of that laser beam and then just fulgore it's just, oh. Is, oh. is that the pornography that you like Jake? Mm, Josh, no Jacob. no the pornography that i like <laughs> i tend to steer a little bit closer to tense <laughs> A little bit closer to that, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. And every now and then, you know, I, I do kind of like a little bit of uh, some, some weird stuff. You know, like like, <laughs> like slugs popping out of nipples. <laughs> if we're going all the way here. Okay, let's change. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, what's, what's everyone been playing recently? Um, I've been uh, playing Pixel Piracy. Um, it's in early access on Steam. It's coming from the creators of Terraria. Really good fun. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I've been I've been doing Red Dead. I finally completed it. I've only been out for a few days, so, so but hey, <laughs> done. I just I just thought because of uh, the whole porn topic, I I couldn't yep. remember what it was called, and I just found it again. Tamakeri. Oh God. Who here knows what Tamakeri is? Afraid not. It is the Japanese fetish for getting kicked in the balls. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tamakeri uh, is a sexual is... fetish and subgenre of pornography within which a man's testicles are abused. The genre is also referred to as ball busting, <laughs> BB for short. <laughs> Originally oh, popular in Japan, it has now spread all over the world. <laughs> You know, there's a little bit of uh, <laughs> cultural information for you. Do you know what I found hilarious? What was that child? Did anyone that, else hear that? I did a, hear a child. That's a mini fish. Oh. Um. What? Hold on. Sorry. I I got distracted for a sec. It's. Finn was just asking what that child was, and I said it's a mini fish. Oh yes. Uh. That, that is a fact. I, I was trying to keep it on the, the down low of me podcasting with people across the world uh, where it's actually morning here and the kiddo decided she wanted to run out and start playing and make mud pies and stuff. Oh. Right? Uh, yeah. Joy of, joy of a seven-year-old. Hmm. So to be fair, you've made like loads of posts on TSAG about your kid and I have to say, if I had a kid like that, I'd be so proud. Cause oh, see, it's, it's amazing. Like, she's your player too. She knows how to game. She kicks your ass at some stuff. It's like, I wish I would have been like that, Seven. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's amazing. I actually had to, uh, I just recently picked up an original Xbox and I have all these different games for it. And it was making me super sad because she wanted to play so bad. And I'm like, I don't have a second controller. So I went out and bought a second controller just so we could sit down and start marathoning some, like, X-Men and Legends and stuff. Because, <laughs> like, if all else, she loves video games. She loves superheroes. Like, she loves me. It all works out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a mini sag. <laughs> right? Mr. Fish. And so it's, it's amazing. Mr. Fish? Yes. Do you like my alpaca? <laughs> I, I do love alpacas in general. Do you like my profile it's picture his... of an alpaca high on coffee? Yeah, it's... Yes. Yeah, that I do absolutely love, actually. Uh, I do... I, everything involving the, tink, the, the tinker I love. Like, there's just... I have wanted and yearned for you to actually like complete games as opposed to just being a responsible gamer and just giving people teasers so they go and complete it themselves, mm. you know? And so like everything I'm watching, I'm just like, I want to hear more. I want to hear more. Like, oh, what was it that you did? The cave. When you did the walkthrough for the cave, oh my God, I was just like, I could sit down and watch this for days. Really? Like, it was just... It, it was, dude. I I love it. I love everything about it. I, I love. Revive that, I, then. 
See, I and you know what? Give me the shout out. Just be like, Mr. Fish, my 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 number one fan made me do this. I'm really glad that yes, he told me that your name's Fish because I was definitely gonna call you Mr. Goatee. Everyone does. It's actually a really long story involving Adam West, Batman, and uh, yeah. So I quickly summarize. It's fish. Whoa. I'm ironically actually wearing my Mr. Fish sweater because I walked outside to let everyone else sleep while I was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get things done. Now, I Boom. have a pretty little something for you, Mr. Fish. Oh, God. I have, it's, it's, not a, it's not a quiz, but it's a test I have up. How American are you? Oh, God. <laughs> we, were talking, we were talking about this before you came online because... Um, Finn, myself, and Professor Tinker are all British, and we get a little confused about some of the American isms we're starting to see in modern society. Right. So and we have dangerous. a little test here to Switch. test just how American you are. Are you up for taking the test? I am down. Okay. Number one, how do you feel about guns? Guns should be legal. <laughs> it's each person's right to protect themselves. Guns should be outlawed as much as possible. Guns are a huge problem in the U.S. and make it incredibly dangerous. How do you feel? Uh, I think everyone has the right to protect themselves. Okay. Number two. Okay. There are 20 questions, by the way. Is it because in the UK, no one's guns at all. I mean, you have it with some special, like, divisions of the police in, air, in airport security. But other than that, not really. Mm. Like, the police here carry business more than guns. Yeah, but then you have to have a special license. You have to keep it locked away, and it's only under the like, if you're a farmer or something. Yeah. Oh, you gotta have a license. And, well, it's a lot, a lot, lot more strict. Mm. Yeah, more strict. All right, this one's pretty simple. X, Y, Z, as in Z, or Z. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what? say, man? <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Okay, so what about X, Y, and Z? You said it there. Okay. <laughs> you would rather eat a home-cooked meal of pasta and meatballs, a gourmet French meal of escargot snails, and tête de veau, which is cow's head apparently, or something at the Olive Garden, apple bees, or red lobster? Home-cooked meal, hands down. Okay. We don't even have an Olive Garden in the UK, I don't Canadians are Americans, at least any of the good ones become Americans, much more advanced than Americans when it comes to social issues, nice people who play hockey and put up with way too much cold weather. Those bears are not uh, <laughs> I don't know, I like Canadians, so I don't have nothing sad to say for them. So nice people who play hockey and put up with a lot of cold weather. Yeah. There we go. That would, that would be it. When you drink beer, it's light coloured and American, dark and with flavour, or you don't drink beer, you prefer wine. Light coloured and American because I like to get drunk for very cheap. Okay. Joining the American military could best be described as desperate, heroic, or dumb. <sighs> <laughs> Technically desperate, although many of my friends are in the military, and I deem it as heroic. I even actually have gotten tattoos because of them being such an important part of my life. Just to remember, it's just my way of saying, hey, thank you for putting your life on the line. One of my groomsmen, and it's actually a uh, combat medic. He jumps out of helicopters with a machine gun and a first aid kit. Like, that's heroic. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. But most of them are desperate. So am I, am I putting down desperate or heroic here? Let my American side come out. I'm going to say desperate. Okay. How do you get around? In a new, less than five-year-old car? In an old car? Or by foot or public transportation? Technically, I think it's an old car now because we're in 2014. Okay. What? No, that's... Is it older than five years? Yeah, I think it's like a 2007. So, yeah, it's over than five years. Okay. 
What kind of cheese do you prefer? Brie, <laughs> blue cheese, or American cheese? Ooh, brie. Good, oh, good man! Brie good man! <laughs> yeah. Do you vote in major cheese. elections? Hardly ever or never or always? Always. I always vote. Okay. How many American states begin with W? Three, five, no idea, or four? I'm going to say three because it's Washington, Wyoming, and West Virginia. Okay. The best late 20th century American president was Carter, Bill Clinton, Clinton. Oh, wait, what, what? Bill Clinton. I don't even have to hear the list. It was Bill Clinton. Okay. Are you in debt? You owe you yep. owe on your car, college education, credit cards, plus the money you borrowed from your parents? Not at all. Or a few credit card bills or loan? Nothing major. School debt is my big run. Okay. Your sports watch your sports watching habits can best be described as women's basketball and soccer, NASCAR and wrestling. Football, not soccer. Shut up. Or football and baseball. American football and baseball. American football and baseball. Yeah, I'd have to say football and baseball because baseball's my sport. Okay. How do you feel about the war in Iraq? Or well, Iraq, whatever. It might have been a mistake, but we should finish the job. We should be bombing the hell out of North Korea and Iran, too. It's disgusting and embarrassing. Uh, number one, it was a mistake, but we should still blow the hell out of everybody. And flag burning. It's un-American, but probably protected under freedom of speech. It should be banned in a constitutional amendment. Sometimes it's necessary to make a point. It's actually necessary to make a point because enough people don't actually burn as many flags as they should. Because in America, if a flag is ever tattered, destroyed, or touches American soil, it's supposed to be burned as an act of patriotism. So the fact that it's only burned as anti-patriotistic acts, those people suck. But it's actually supposed to be burned more often. Okay. How do you feel when you hear, I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free, sung? You never hear that song. You feel patriotic, even though, uh, uh, even if the song's a bit cheesy, and you can't wait for it to be over. Cannot wait for it to be over because if there's anything I hate more than anything, it is pandering. <laughs> Do you own an American flag? Not anymore. Okay. The United Nations is a scam, and the U.S. should kick them to the curb. Should be listened to most cases. Should be doing... Should... What the fuck? Should be something the US listens to more often. I think... It should be used more often or listened to or whatever the option is about the UN being a good thing. Okay. Last two questions. What do you <laughs> like best about America? American movies and music aren't bad. The diversity... Even though it's not perfect, you're pretty free to do and be what you want. That one. Okay. Last one. Is America the best country on Earth? Technically. So, it's up there. Because I've got I, hell yeah, I no way, and it's up there. It's up there. Okay. Let's see how American you are. Yeah. You are 55% American. Sweet. I'm just enough American to be American. Most times you're proud to be an American, though sometimes the good old US of A makes you cringe. Still, you know there's no place better suited to be your home, and you love your freedom, and no one's going to take it away from you. That is actually completely accurate of how I feel about my country. There you go. Mr. Fish, it's, it's and it's been over half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. I'm glad that I, I could have. I'm glad I could help the, you know the Brits uh, with some information from the colonies. Yes, you could. Oh, also interesting fact, uh, which I can't remember, so I'm not going to say it. Hmm. 
interesting okay. fact. An interesting fact, not for American ears. <laughs> no, no, it's for American ears. I just can't remember it. New York <laughs> used to be called New Amsterdam. Oh, yeah, it did. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah that's, that's very true. Yeah. Before we bought it and, and you took it off us, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, right. I want to find up. that fact now. Isn't, isn't the London Bridge? Oh my god. Isn't the London Bridge actually in New York currently? Because the London Bridge is tiny. Really small. I don't uh, I don't honestly have an answer for that. I, I live in Washington State. I'm on the Pacific side of America. So I just pretend the eastern side doesn't exist unless there's like a hurricane <laughs> or something. <laughs> okay. I found it. I found the fact. Technically, there are only 46 states because Massachusetts, Virginia, Kentucky, and Pennsylvania are commonwealths. Huh. There you go. Good to know. Just that last fact. That's that's funny that we live in a world where Hawaii is more of a state than some of the places that have been there since the beginning of the country. <laughs> anyway. Should we perhaps talk about gaming? Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so back on the topic of gaming and what we were playing. <laughs> what have we been playing recently? I've actually been playing a lot of Far Cry 3. Really? Oh my god, it's awesome. I love that game. It's it's beautiful. It really is. Running around on it, shooting everything up. The gun sounds are really nice. They are good. Overall, it's just a really nice, pleasant gaming experience. I think it's it's really it's really immersive. Yeah, yeah. Really, I personally think it's how Far Cry should have been because Far Cry One was really good. Far Cry Two was absolutely abysmal. Yeah. And Far mm. Cry Three went back to its roots, and it was just I just it was lovely. Mm. I, I I like the fire a lot. The fire. <laughs> the fire was the best. It would just spread, and it was beautiful. I see. More games should have fire in them. Yeah, they, a lot of games should have fire actually, because they're just they're brilliant. Fire's beautiful. Mm. When I was three years old, I dropped a toy <laughs> into the fireplace, and being three, I decided to lunge in after it. <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> Apparently, my hands were very badly burned, and I don't remember because I instantly passed out <laughs> <laughs> into the fire. My my little. Uh, my little brother, when he was younger, when he got hurt, he used to scream, but he used to scream so loud, like so high pitched that you could barely hear him. And he'd actually pass out from like breathing, <laughs> screaming so much. <laughs> so you wouldn't actually hear him when he was in pain. He'd just kind of pass out in whatever dangerous situation he was in. Like a fainting goat? A, a bit, yeah. <laughs> it allowed me to survive. <laughs> Uh, so some of the things that's happened, though, in way of injuries in my family. Apparently, when I was five, I was on one of the... I don't know if you have them in America, but we have a swing here, which is like a bowl, and you just sit in it, and it just goes round. <laughs> it's really yep. weird. And I was in one of them, and my mum turned around for a split second and just heard... Because <laughs> I, I had just come off the swing and smacked my head on the fake tarmac and just passed out. And we were right across the road from a hospital, so she just took us in there, and it took so long for someone to actually get to us. Before anyone arrived, I woke up and rubbed my head, and she looked at me and said, You seem alright. And we just left! <laughs> I feel as though this explains everything. <laughs> everything. It was just complete silence, no. and then... <laughs> gaming. Alright, fine, here. gaming. I like games that have guns and blood. <laughs> Okay, um, recently on Zag, I have made a new website, because the old one was shit. Um, so yes, go check that out, tsag.co.uk. It's all very nice and new and shiny and awesome. Um, this isn't gaming, also, motherfucker. This is community. It's, it's just <laughs> fine. Community, then. I've, we've got a new website. Go check it out. Um, I have recruited a new writer for the website, who should be starting shortly, hopefully. Yes, I know, exciting stuff. Um, and I've also set up interviews with two studios, Chilsters, who do mobile games such as Paddling Now and Robot Blitz. They're very cool. 
and Proton Studios who are developing Time Rifters for the Oculus Rift. They're going to be top artists for us. So yeah, those should be up soon-ish, within the next week or so, hopefully. But yeah. I think that, I think that'll be pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, that should all be good and up on the site shortly, which is good. Um, yeah, the new website is good because you can like log in with Facebook to comment on stuff, and there's a decent forum this time and everything like that. The old one was a bit of a mess. Shit. <laughs> Um, but no, it's very nice and shiny and good, I think. So go check it out. If you don't think it is, then tell us how you think we can improve it, and I'll get on to it. But yeah, okay, done. If you don't like it, click on the forum button and leave a comment on how much you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should do voiceovers for everything. I, if... I really should. I want a recording of Mr. Fish saying... Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> I would actually that. quite like that because I was told the other day by one of my friends who's played and completed South Park, thankfully no spoilers, that there are certain parts in South Park that are a little bit too... Yeah. Oh dear, that's a bit bad. So yes. And I was advised that it might be an idea if just before it gets to those bits, because I'll know when I get to them, I should put up a quick sign just saying, this bit's pretty bad. Be yeah. careful. I've, I've completed South Park, the stick of truth. There are some bits, and it's just like, do I have to play this? Mm, according to my it's friend... It's kind of funny, because there's actually parts that it's gotten censored in other countries, and so it literally pops up a text box that's yeah. like, just so you know, this is what you're missing right now. Yeah, but really it's actually missing. been censored in the UK over here, but only on console versions, and I got it on PC, so I had to witness everything and <laughs> but no it's good my friend said that it gradually gets worse and worse the more you progress but when you reach the end it sort of unleashes all of its pent up terribleness oh, yeah. on you the final boss fight is ridiculous <laughs> oh i can't wait for that is, uh, i'm not going to spoil it for you cuz you still haven't played yeah, it you better not damn it the final day is brilliant Oh, I can't yeah, wait. That's what I've heard as well. One of my really good friends, uh, another one of the sags, that he played it like literally the day it came out. He just started tryharding, and so he he's like, "Dude, literally, this is the most epic ending to a video game ever. It may be the most disturbing ending to yeah. a video game ever, but it's also the most epic." Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for it. That's going because up tomorrow. I think of I can think of one ending that is possibly more epic, and that would have to be Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, but that's only because you actually ride on the back of a talking dinosaur with lasers strapped to its back, and you blow up a nuclear facility and stuff. Far Cry yeah, Blood Dragon was just a complete cheesy, funny joke. It that, was. It that was, was meant hilarious. to be that on it purpose, and it was just... Big, oh. It was one... Neon clusterfuck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have some bad sixties references and some comic strips and lasers. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was fun. Right. I really loved Blood Dragon. Oh, games. Games do fall short sometimes at the end. Mm. I just experienced it firsthand. And. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> uh, I did anyway. play. Far, I did play Far Cry Three. And for those of you that haven't played Far Cry 3, I'm about to talk about the ending. Spoiler warning. Yeah, I, that's terrible. Yeah, I thought the I thought the ending where you chose to go with your friends, that was good. Your freedom, that, I like that. Where you chose to join Citra. Hey, let's have sex and then get stabbed in the chest for no reason. I, I didn't, I only played the good ending. Well, I say good, I still didn't like it, it was boring. It was like, oh, let's go back to civilization, but... Does she die too? No, she has your baby, doesn't she? Yeah, she has your baby. Yeah. She just Did straight up stabs you halfway through having, well, at the end of having sex, and it's just, well, you're spent. <laughs> now you're dead. Well, I don't, well, How I does don't... she even know that she's pregnant? I don't know. He could be infertile. <laughs> well, I, what I don't get is the fact that it's like, oh, we have to spend like so many chapters of this game, like so mi so long, trying to repair this boat go out and like fight all these guys and whilst you're out there fighting you come across dozens of people on boats perfectly yeah. working <laughs> boats and even a helicopter at one point and it's just 
why Isn't are we that doing lots of Gilligan's Island? I have no idea, actually. Yeah, like the three-hour tour, they get stranded on an island. They're trying to repair their boat. The professor can make a radio out of coconuts with no wires whatsoever. <laughs> and they, like, have people randomly show up all the time with, like, boats. And, well, they didn't have helicopters back then because it was, like, you know, or whatever. They were regularly used on movies or shows or whatever. Mm. And, like, for some reason, they never got off the island until, like, seven seasons later. And then they're like, oh, <laughs> we got off the island now because oh, our cast members are going to die if we don't finish this show. <laughs> now, what are we going to do as, uh, to celebrate uh, getting back to civilization? Take my family on a cruise! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was exactly how it ended. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's that's terrible. It's How like long lost. Have you been recording for? Uh, forty-six minutes. Should we finish it here? That way, it's about forty-five minutes, or should we continue to up to the hour? Yeah, we're done, everyone. Bye. Uh-huh. No, I didn't just end it. You can continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want me to I'm end still it? Thinking or about this. Well, yeah, yeah, it's been like we we were aiming for half an hour, so we're pretty okay, much Okay, we'll, we'll finish it. We'll finish it now then. Yes. If, if, unless anyone else has anything else to say. Nope. No. <laughs> no. I think, I think, do you I want think. to declare your love for Professor Tinker, or are you okay? Uh, well, I'm just saying that right now, if he ever just needs anybody to just come up with random stuff to talk about his stuff. No, he doesn't have like a super huge following. I will gladly uh, extend my voiceover talents to his voiceover talents, and we will amalgamate into a sexy spiral of awesome. I actually really hope that happens. I like the sounds of this. It, it could work. <laughs> this has to be a thing now. Oh my! <laughs> you know how on College Humor they have the Jake and Amir episodes. I'm yes. now imagining like a tea sag thing, but with Professor Tinker and Mr. Fish. <laughs> It'd be like a sexual vocal uh, orgy for the ears. Yes. <laughs> In a world where an American and a Brit can still be friends. <laughs> I don't know what to add to that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everyone, thank you for coming along and like listening to Yeti Porn Habits, a really long how american are you quiz and a little bit of gaming uh, <laughs> minimal yeah, minimal gaming minimal, minimal amount of gaming that's allowed in a podcast on a gaming website uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for coming along we'll be doing another pos- podcast next week most probably most definitely most likely um, whatever go out go check out our new site it's all very nice and shiny and it's a lot 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 better than the old one yeah. um and go check out Mr. Professor Tinker's stuff on YouTube. It's all very funny and very good. And uh, you don't have to. Amazing. When you get around checking it out, you may even hear Mr. Fish on there. Who knows? Hey, you might. You might. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you may. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Finn, for joining us. I was sad. And Harry. And oh, Harry. <laughs> he was just there in the background. <laughs> oh, you're fire so house. He's, I've just been watching him play Terraria for three you know. It's fantastic. It has looks like a boat. <laughs> Fish and Finn. We, 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 yeah, have have have, we have to have you back another time. It's been brilliant. Okay. And I, I think we should have Harry in the background again. Yes. <laughs> just yeah, just being a free elf. It's brilliant. Um, thank, you, free. thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for listening and watching. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but no. Thank you. Yes. And thank we'll you. Be back next week. Bye. 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 Bye.